If you're having trouble hunting down the emergency quest Apex in Ogre, this Freezer Solo Guide is for you. We're gonna use this weapon and armor set right here. Take a screenshot of these two sets I'll be showing you. Anyhow, I heavily recommend using either Divine Blessing or Evade Extender. Either of the skills should be at level 2 if you want this hunt to be a lot easier. This armor set gives you a passive health recovery because of Kushala's bonus skill. As for the switch skill loadout, the items you should bring, I I also hired these two palicos right here. Caramel is a strong fighting palico that buffs you up with affinity, attack, defense, and stamina. Tofu is an underleveled palico yet powerful enough to heal you throughout the hunt. Sorry palamutes, you'd have to stay here. Before you begin the hunt, make sure you aid for these dango buffs right here. The next thing you want to do is to collect some spirit birds. We're just increasing our health and defense stats. Take your time, don't be that guy who skips on these. If you look on the map, I recommend going to the two pyramid-like structures right here since they have a lot of spirit birds and two status toads either blast or sleep now while we are collecting these let me first explain apex zinogre's weak points move sets how to punish those moves and which ones to completely avoid Let's first start off with Apex Zinogre's weak spot. When not enraged, Apex Zinogre's best weak spot is the head. But when Apex Xenoboy is enraged, aim for the front legs instead. Dealing enough damage will topple him, giving you a big opening. The double ground pound. Sounds like a burger, but hey. You can tell how Zinogre is about to do this move when it starts to move up either of the arm. Okay, to be fair, in my experience, it's usually the left arm. But Zinogre also does this with the single ground pound. Now, how can you tell which move Zinogre is about to do? Here's a tip. If Zinogre is about to do a single pound, the right arm turns really bright. And Zinogre usually moves a bit slow before slamming the arm in the ground. The double ground pound is the exact opposite. It's fast and the arm doesn't glow as bright as the other one. Here's what it looks like side by side. Watch carefully. You can punish both of the moves by simply tackling through each attack and holding the rage slash till the attack animation is done. Aim for the head as much as you can. Make sure you're standing on either sides of the arm because usually the next move is going to be a tail uppercut and at that point Another move Zinogre does before the single ground pound is this move, the head bang. <laughs> I, I was about to say like the ooh ah, ah, but of course I might get copyright if I add that song. Damn it, I just said this is simple. When Zinogre does the head bang, do the tackle, then charge up that rage slash. Next, we have the head scoop. Head scoop? Eh, whatever. If Zinogre does the head scoop, usually Zinogre will do a hip check or a single ground pound. Mostly, it's going to be a hip check, so dodge out of it. And I'll explain in a bit why dodging out of the hip check is a better choice. Now, I'll be mentioning Zinogre's favorite tail moves. The uppercut tail. Tackle, rage slash. Tail slam. Adamant charge, one tap, then rage slash. The break dance. Tackle, then rage slash. The double raging uppercut. <laughs> I had to Google that. In my hunt, Zinogre rarely does this move. Might be different from yours. You can either punish it with a tackle, then rage slash, or dodge it by moving towards the opposite side of the electrical end. Since we're talking about electrical moves, the 6 premature electric- Damn, the normal Xenogre does a better job at this. Just adamant charge towards the head. Some 3 electric lines. You can adamant charge, or if you're low on health, just calmly walk on the side. Here's an HD bird's eye view shot, 3 lines going on each side, like a letter V and 1 line going straight. Now hit that like button for this amazing MSP. The Okay guys, just do a quick adamant charge away or just dodge and then reposition yourself again. Because at this point, Xenogre is just desperate in closing the gap between you two. Okay, let's get serious now guys. It's time to talk about the most dangerous move Apex Xenogre has. The hip check.
This gets me every time, especially when Zinogre is in rage. I suggest dodging it than countering the move since you're already on a bad position and you are less likely to hit the weak spot. Zinogre is at this point on its limit, you'd start to hear the apex roar. Take full advantage of it as soon as it roars, quickly do an adamant charge to strike the head. At this point, we have to carefully think about our move since we are one cart away from a bad greatsword combo. You can tell that Zinogre is pissed when its eyes glow in bright yellow. Why do I sound like I'm rapping? There are no combo changes on both the single and double ground pound besides that it deals a lot more damage. So again, stay on a high amount of health. Don't worry guys, you can still counter some of the moves I've mentioned earlier. Let's say Zinogre does an uppercut tail. Expect that it's about to land a single ground pound if let's say you have a high amount of health, go for the tackle and do a rage slash. And remember to aim for the front legs when in rage. If let's say you've dealt enough damage, Zeno will topple and straight away go for an adamant charge on the head. Another move Zenogre loves to do when in rage is Zenogre will try to do a forward electrical charge at you plus the long distance sleep attack. Okay, okay, you're copying my skills now, Zinogre, I see. I'd usually try not to counter this move. Try to keep your camera at Zinogre. If Zinogre manages to leap close to you, do a Superman jump and read the next move before even trying to stand up because you might end up carting. Other moves that you should try not to counter, moves such as Zinogre's body slam at the back, the animation cue here would look something like Zinogre just slipped on a banana. The Plesioth hip check. Oh, again, just like what I said a while ago. Never ever try to counter this with a tackle because there's a high chance Zinogre will wind up a strong single ground pound move after that hip check. Just play it safe, okay? We're not trying to speedrun it. And finally, we are down to Zenogre's very last moves. I call this one Raijin no Ikari. Basically, what happens here, Zenogre will start to charge up, a bunch of thunderbolts follow you around, and Zenogre will jump high up in the air and do a strong ground pound twice. If you see this move, you're better off running away, but if let's say you have a high health and you have the balls, you can pretty much tackle this move, do it as soon as it's about to do the second leap, then do a rage slash. When Zinogre starts to combo you, don't use the wirefall. You'll just end up carding after that. If you need to create some space to heal yourself, throw a flash bomb. Throughout the hunt, you can wyvern ride two monsters on the map. It helps a lot when you want to dish out more damage. Don't forget to buff up. This goes in order. When in doubt, don't perform the punishing move. Sometimes you'll just end up being right. Sinovers almost dead here. Nice, let's go! Wish you the best everyone. Good luck with the hunt. See you in Sunbreak.